And here is the Artist's Almanac from March 12th, 2018. It's the birthday of Russian ballet dancer and choreographer Vaslav Nijinsky, born on this day in 1889. Cited as the greatest male dancer of the early 20th century, Nijinsky was born in Kiev to Polish parents and grew up in Imperial Russia. He was celebrated for his virtuosity and for the depth and intensity of his characterizations. He could dance en point, a rare skill among male dancers at the time, and was admired for his seemingly gravity-defying leaps. Nijinsky was introduced to dance by his parents, who were senior dancers with the traveling Setov Opera Company and in his early childhood was accepted at the Imperial Ballet School, now known as the Marinsky School in St. Petersburg, the preeminent ballet school in the world. In 1909, he joined the Ballet Russe, a new ballet company started by Sergei Diaghilev. The impresario took the Russian ballets to Paris, and Nijinsky became the company's star male dancer, always causing an enormous stir amongst audiences wherever he performed. Diaghilev and Nijinsky became lovers, and the Ballet Russe gave Nijinsky the chance to expand his art and experiment with dance and choreography. He created new directions for male dancers, while himself becoming internationally famous. In 1912, Nijinsky began choreographing original ballets, including Prelude to the Afternoon of a Fawn and the dance poem Je by Debussy. Thiel Eugenspiegel's Merry Pranks by Richard Strauss, and perhaps most famously, the Paris premiere of Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring. The premiere of Igor Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring is perhaps the most famous scandal in the history of the performing arts. It took place on the evening of the 29th of May, 1913, at the brand new Théâtre de Champs-Élysées in Paris. The audience, packed into the newly built theater to the point of standing room only, had neither seen nor heard anything like it before. As the first few bars of the orchestral work The Rite of Spring by the young little-known Russian composer Igor Stravinsky sounded, there was a disturbance in the audience. It was, according to some of those present, who included Marcel Proust, Pablo Picasso, Gertrude Stein, Maurice Ravel, and Claude Debussy, the sound of derisive laughter. By the time the curtain rose to reveal ballet dancers stomping the stage, the protests had reached a crescendo. The orchestra and dancers, choreographed by Nijinsky, continued, but it was impossible to hear the music above what Stravinsky described as a terrific uproar. As the audience erupted, Diaghilev called for calm and flashed the house lights on and off, while Nijinsky was forced to call out steps to the dancers as the beat of the music was drowned out by the riotous cacophony. A riot ensued, with two factions in the audience attacking each other, then the orchestra, which kept playing under a hail of vegetables and other objects. By the end of the evening, 40 people were forcibly ejected. The turbulent premiere was followed by five more relatively peaceful performances before one show in London, which received mixed reviews, but the complete ballet and orchestral work were only performed seven times before the outbreak of the First World War. In 1913, Nijinsky married Hungarian Romola de Pulski while on tour with the company in South America. The marriage caused a break with Diaghilev, who soon dismissed Nijinsky from the company. With no alternatives, Nijinsky tried to form his own company, but was not successful. During the war, he was interred in Budapest, Hungary, and under house arrest until 1916, but was finally permitted to leave after intervention by Diaghilev and other international leaders. At the close of the war, Diaghilev attempted to revive the Rite of Spring, but found nobody who remembered the choreography as, by then, Nijinsky, the greatest dancer of his generation, was in mental decline. Nijinsky became increasingly mentally unstable with the stresses of having to manage tours himself and deprived of opportunities to dance. The family settled in St. Moritz, Switzerland, where his mental condition continued to deteriorate. Nijinsky was diagnosed with schizophrenia in 1919 and committed to an asylum. For the next 30 years, he was in and out of institutions, never to dance again in public. I danced frightening things. They were frightened of me and therefore thought that I wanted to kill them. 
I didn't want to kill anyone. I loved everyone, but no one loved me, and therefore I became nervous. A quote from the diary of the late, great Vaslav Nijinsky. Thanks for listening. Be kind, do good work, and until next time.